Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Midnight Clock, powerful cards. Don't really want to draft blue though. I mean, I could still take it. Adversary, pretty strong. Arcanus Owl, but it's a bit dodgy as a first pick. Adversary is probably still better than Outmuscle. I mean, Snapper for Mono Green could work. It's not like we're passing up on anything amazing. Yeah, why not? Perfect. And all right, I guess I'll take a trail. Take a cabin over a random squire that I don't want. Could also take the runaway in case we end up blue green. But cabin's actively good with a trail. I guess now I'll take like a vision over squire. Take my Ginger Brute, which plays well with my Keeper of Fables. Otherwise, Halbert also plays well with Ginger Brutes. Nothing here. Yeah, I mean, maybe we need a random 2-drop. Um, still looking likely to be mono green, so... Probably still take Hangewalker over Halbert. Don't want any of these. Alright, take another trail of crumbs. Could take a curious pair. But golden egg might just be better. We don't have a payoff for adventures. A 1-3 blocker is okay, but... I think I prefer Egg. Carriage looks okay. Although it is a 5, I guess, if we don't play Vision. We don't have that many 5s. Take my out Muscle. Cabin or Halberd. I guess if we're Mono Green, OK is OK too. It does make humans, so it doesn't synergize with Keeper of Fables. But uh, it's probably still the pick. Uh, I think I prefer Paladin over Second Ranger. Plays quite well with Keeper of Fables as well. Handwalker, since we don't have many threes. Not our tracker. Sadly, we opened Squires instead of Merrily Friders. Cure Spares are decent with uh, double Trail of Crumbs, at least. Don't think we're Weapon Racking, so maybe a Gargoyle, but I doubt it. Uh, Halberd's decent. Ooh. Gilded Goose with double... Trail of Crumbs, don't mind if I do. Hopefully wield the Carver. Sir Farron in mono green should be good. Although we do need to pick up some pump spells. Uh, Garen Brick Paladin number two. Yeah, probably. Over the... The cabin, the egg and the walker can maybe wheel the walker. Did pass up onto fairy vandals, but that's okay. We're living that mono green life. Alright, carver's okay. 
room also decent with all the food we have. Don't know if we'll main deck return to nature, but maybe. Got a cabin. So, yeah, a reasonable mono green deck here. Nothing exciting, but it looks playable. So Gargoyle is out. Not sure about the spider. Didn't end up with many threes, didn't wheel the henchwalker, sadly. These squires are medium. We've got double trail as kind of our card advantage. Out muscle as interaction, Halberd to boost up our creatures. Only one Ginger Brutes, double Carver. And some beefy creatures to close out the game. Need to make seven cuts. Yeah, I don't think I need Squires. And then... Oh yeah, we're definitely playing Trail. We have double Curious Pair, double Trail, Golden Egg, and Gilded Goose to make a ton of food. So it seems excellent. And the Wildwood Trackers, I guess, are questionable. Our deck is not, like, hyper aggro. And a lot of my 2-drops are human. So I don't think we need the Trackers. But I'll keep the Brute since it plays so well with the Keeper of Fables. And probably need Spore Cap Spiders since we're pretty soft to Flyers. Yeah, this looks okay. Two more cuts. Surf Iron with double Carver looks good. Also good synergy without Muscle. So don't really want to cut those. The Broom looks good with all the food synergies. Don't want to cut any of the top end, so I could go down to 16 pretty easily. Since we're monocolored, but then I still need to make one cut. OKM's not amazing, but, I mean, the effect to pump our team is still relevant. It's still an OK card. Could maybe shave one Curious Pair if we don't need all that much food. Since we have enough 2-drops. I think I prefer Egg over Curious Pair. Yeah, let's shave a pair. This looks OK. We also have double cabin to make food, so it's not like we need Curious Pair to keep the Trail of Crumbs engine going. Plenty of other food makers. So yeah, let's uh, try this. 14 forests, 2 cabins. And we'll choose the egg here. Let's see how this goes. Don't love this on the play, with only 2 lands. But I also don't really want a mulligan. Probably save the carver for now. And hope to draw a land 3 for a walker. Two cabins would come into play tapped right now. One one shine chaser. Opponent stays back. Yeah, we can send both and then still play Hangewalker if they take it.
All right, that blocks the brutes. Starting next turn. Probably not gonna have time to adventure the Okam Ranger. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to beat. Bunch of 1 1 flyers, that's where we need our spider. Or we need to try and race with the Paladins, which is not uh, a given. So now we could out Muscle, probably have to kill the Shine Chaser here to mitigate the damage. And then uh, use the Walker so it can attack past the Drawbridge, and then hope for land for these Paladins. I mean, Vandal could eventually outgrow the Shine Chaser, but we don't know that for a fact. So I'll just work with the information I have, which is that the uh, Shine Chaser is a 2 2. Both on top, that's bad news. Let's jam a uh, paladin. Well, they can block the paladin at the moment, so. It's close to lethal. Ooh, another Shine Chaser. So now they have five, six power in the air, so they have a two-turn clock. Alright, they did not tap the drawbridge. Yeah, I guess if they use a drawbridge, then they would die to the Ginger Brute, so that makes sense. So we'll just send Paladin and Tanchwalker and see what they do. I might have to make food to survive here. Depending on how they block. The Ginger Brute can also be sacrificed for life. Sir points at one. They're only... Attacking for six in the air, but they did keep a card on top. So they could easily have another flyer to kill us. So the play might be... I guess we could like play Henchwalker, sack the Brute. Or I can make food and then have both the Brute and the Cure Spare food token available for six life. I mean, at the moment, my opponent's chum blocking Henchwalker and dying to the Paladin, so I feel like if I just gain life, that's good enough. Playing the Curious Pair doesn't do a whole lot of good for me, because I can always chump with the Brutes if they have a big ground creature that they're going to give haste. So I'd rather just have four mana to sack both the Brute and the Food Token. So let's do that. Adventure the Curious Pair, and then pass a turn with uh, six life worth of food. Which seems like the safest if they can deal with the Paladin. I 
I guess I don't need to play around a burn spell here out of blue. And before they go mountain sling fire, but then I could still uh, sack the brute, I guess. Alright, so they are technically dead on board. I think I sacked the Brute since I want my mana next turn. And because of the drawbridge it doesn't really do much. And then the walker can still attack, I think. And we got Terra, sweet. So kept a sketchy hand, luckily drew a couple lands along the way. And uh, yeah, Mono Green got a done. Garenberg Paladin looked very good in that game. Yeah, I'm keeping this. Turn one Goose, turn two Trail or Surferon. Can start making food. Can even attack with the goose and use Carver on Sir Farron to get in some extra damage. Don't think that'll be necessary. I'm okay if they use a trick here, not to attach to Sir Farron. That one's pretty good for me, I think, since we still trade. And then... I could play the trail. I guess it's still fine. But there's definitely a world where... You just want to make the most food possible, and then get the most value out of the trail later. Adversary is not bad. Probably play that for now. Yeah, we could, if we wanted to, use Goose for mana, and which would trigger the Trail of Crumbs, and then we can pay for it. Might do that end of turn, actually. Wow, opponent's playing Murder Strider. Not adventuring it, it feels like a misclick. Alright, I guess uh, I'll take it. <laughs> Cat jumped on the opponent's keyboard. I can't imagine it. Not gonna say no. The goose is indeed loose. Alright, Halbert's not bad. So we'll start there, and then we can still play... I guess I don't mind using the food for the Hangewalker here. a pretty good start. 
Got more food on the way. Caskets. Forced to go after the Merrily Fratter, but... Goose is actually the card that's going to provide the most value. Sir Farron's not bad. Especially with that uh, Halberd. Yeah, Monogreen delivering the beatdowns. No adamant, so just uh, 5 mana draw 3, which is fine, but when they're behind on boards, maybe not what they need. Yeah, I guess we don't need to equip Halbert when we can play a Paladin, and then pump the Broom with Sir Farron. Hmm. Should I be concerned with the sweeper here? That's a pretty aggressive chump block. So I'm kind of terrified of uh, a realm clock giant now. I guess never mind. Yeah, good point. The paladin's a giant, so it doesn't die to it. So that solves that problem. From the picture, it's hard to tell that this is a giant, but it is indeed a giant knight. Alright, so can't replay Paladin this turn. But we can Brute and then make food with the Goose, I guess. What if we go for an all-out attack? Pumping Hangewalker. They block Sir Farron. Take five, six, seven, eight. I guess it's still fine. So yeah, we'll just be making food with the goose. And we can equip the Halberd next turn, maybe. Although then I guess we can make it unblockable. I guess if we draw land, we can do both, thanks to the Goose. So they probably have some interaction up. So I don't really feel the need to go all in on this Ginger Brutes and take up my entire turn. So instead, how about I hit for one with the Brute and then play Paladin? Seems fine. Sure. I could still decide to just replay the Brutes, so that next turn I'm guaranteed to have the mana to equip Halberds and kill them with just a Brute. But a Paladin's still a decent attacker here, they don't have any great blocks on it. And now they could double block. Alright, it's not bad. So we're pretty all in on this uh, Ginger Brute getting across the finish line. I'm gonna be one mana short of making unblockable and equipping Halberds unless I draw land. So the only way to mitigate that would be to Adventure Curious Pair and play Brute, but that seems like a pretty bad turn. I guess I can make another food with the Goose as well. If my opponent has nothing, they would be dead if I equip Halbert on Goose. If they have Outflank, that would be pretty bad. How likely are they to have an Outflank though? And then even if they do have outflank, I can still potentially get there with the Brute, so... Yeah, maybe it's worth it to go for it. But 
but yeah, if we didn't have the plan B of Ginger Brutes to win the game, this would be a lot sketchier. Alright, one more win. In mono green we trust. And yeah, we've got our Curious Pair plus Trail for card advantage. Reasonable curve, turn to Sir Ferran, turn 3 Henchwalker. Can't complain. That's a good start. Sir Farron doesn't line up great against the Youthful Knights. Uh-oh. They did not attack with the Youthful Knight, that's uh, interesting. Still within out muscle range. Ooh, Silver Flame Ritual. That's gonna hurt. Could still double block the Youthful Knight if they attack with it. Yeah, probably playing OK instead of adventuring it first. Although, maybe, maybe not. Could also go digging with the Golden Egg. And uh, next turn I'll have enough mana to play Trail, Sack, and use the ability. I think I just want to get on the board here. Sadly, Trail can't find our out muscles. Double range, yeah, that's rough. <laughs> All right. Well, now out muscle's not good enough anymore. So I guess we're just dead. I guess we can start sacking food to gain life. Keep up that way. Can double block Youthful Knight and block the Ginger Brutes. Take seven, go to seven, and then sack some. Uh, food to gain life, so we're not dead to the Pathlighter next turn. And it also shrinks if the Brute dies. Can't really play around another combo trick, I don't think. Alright, they had it all. So they're gonna hit me for 9, so I don't have to jump with the Henchwalker. So I can probably attack with it then. I am dead to another artifact or enchantment, but so be it. Keeper of Fables, normally a good draw here, but uh, doesn't deal with the Pathlighter. Don't have many outs, to be honest, like a spider can chump block for a turn, that's about it. Yeah, I'm just not going to be able to race. And then there's a Youthful Knight we have to deal with too. Yeah, I think we're dead. Let's 
gonna be a pretty amazing sequence for us to survive, I guess. Gilded Goose could chum block Pathlighter, and then I have to like play Paladin and draw out Muscle, so I can have Muscle the Pathlighter. So it's not impossible if they have nothing and we draw perfectly, but it's not super likely. That doesn't really do it. Yeah, we had some good cards here, but uh, can't deal with a 6-6 flyer. Man, so close. So I need to find a goose, pretty much. Or a spider. So do we play the other trail first? Six, seven... The problem is I need nine mana to play Paladin and Outmuscle. So do I need to Golden Egg? That's still not enough to play a goose if I draw it. So I guess we can play trail, sack food, pay two. And then I would go up to 4. If we find Goose, I can chump Pathlighter. Take 3 from the Youthful Knight, go to 1. So we have 4 looks at the Goose. It's no goose, so now we're dead. Yeah, I mean, we had some powerful draw engines going here, but uh, wasn't meant to be. Alright, so we'll have to try again. All right, on the play. A lot of expensive cards, but uh, I guess turn three we can go digging for lands with trail. I'll try it. Although I guess I need a third land for that to work. Playing cabin doesn't really do what I want, so might as well All right, Raiders. I think now we want to play Rider and use the ability to go digging with trails. So we still put a creature in play at least. Only get to use one of the trails, but that's fine. Just want to hit my land drop. And then a snapper should be good. I'll keep the second food in play so we can hopefully use both trails. All right. Okay with a trade. Yeah, I think I want to snap her first. Could also make some tokens, which if they have a single spot removal spell, we don't care about as much. But this one they won't have an easy time killing. And then next turn the carriage is going to draw us a card. All 
Alright, I guess they still get to attack here. Ooh, melee too. It's gonna cost some lands. Yeah, I think we carriage. And then I have the option of both blocking with the token or the carriage itself if we want to soak up some trample damage. Alternatively, I can use the tokens and the carver. Alright, so now it does first strike. So no great way of blocking it. So I guess I'll take five, but the Tomb Raider plus Ferocity is kind of scary too. But yeah, jumping doesn't seem like the winning play. So how do we beat them having another Way to draw cards, I guess. Keep up Carver to pump the carriage. And then I still have uh, four mana left over. Could sack a food to use trail twice. Or I could make some tokens, or I could play Sir Farron. Still need a long-term solution for the Tomb Raider. I think we put a spider on the bottom somewhere. So that's not an answer. I think I just want to gain some life here and hit my land drops. Could play Halberd on a token. Sure. So we're at four. Cycle Merchant to hit our land drop, which they found. Brutes. So do have to be a bit careful here that we don't get burnt out somehow. At the same time, we want to pressure them to try and close out this game as soon as possible before they eventually kill me with Tomb Raider. So I could place her fern to crew the carriage. Can still sag the food. Maybe that's safer. Yeah, I guess we'll start there. Keeper of Fables versus Paladin. Might need the effect from Paladin more. It's not like we lack card draw engines with the uh, Trail of Crumbs. I think we take lands. Down to 11. Could still sag the brutes 
as food as if we really have to, but it's kind of a last resort. Alright, Matt Ratter, that's scary. That's part of the reason why I wanted to take the Paladin, so it could maybe attack past a bunch of rats. Opponent staying back, that's a good sign. Yeah, let's just play the OKM itself, I think. Which can crew the carriage. And then we'll have the Paladin on defense. I guess I don't get to attack with a Ginger Brute unless I want to pump it with Sir Farron, which I guess I do. Maybe leave an extra token back as well for insurance. Alright, we're at 7, so feel relatively safe. A single Searing Barrage doesn't kill me. Alright, opponent's going uh, pretty deep here. I guess that plays well with uh, Matt Ratter. But now we can move the Halberd to the Ginger Brutes and pump it with either Okim or Sir Farron for the win. So, yeah. That should suffice. Alright, sweet. It was looking pretty rough at the start. But, uh, managed to come back. Alright, final boss for Mythic, take two. This hand has Ginger Brute plus Keeper of Fables, which is a pretty strong synergy. Yeah, I guess we'll try it. So they probably have an outflank in hand, if I had to guess. So playing defense with the Ginger Brute when they have outflank in hand would not really work. I will keep the Carver as a trick for later. Goose is good. Hmm, never mind. That was bad. Yeah, if we suspect they have outflank, this attack doesn't work. I mean, maybe I still force them to use the outflank, but it's pretty rough. Yeah. The good news is the fox doesn't fly, and this keeper and carriage could stabilize us. I guess I forgot my food makes mana, so I could have also just played my 5-drop last turn. 
Yeah, I'm not playing optimally, as you can tell. Maybe go for a carriage first. As a dodge, a sorcery speed, removal, maybe trapped in a tower. They might have another outflank. Guess we'll find out. Probably should have blocked with a goose too. All right, let's try and focus. Opponents at 18, one card in hand. We're at three, six mana, seven with a goose. I guess we can play Snapper and then uh, play the Curious Bear as well. Yeah, I don't know if I can afford to also adventure the pair, it's probably not necessary. Second O came, opponent can go wide. Pass a turn, and then we can either gain life or make more food. Out muscles, not bad. Probably need to kill this Okame Ranger. I kind of want to out muscle with my goose so I can start attacking and triggering the Keeper of Fables, but it doesn't work. So, who do we out muscle with? Probably the Keeper of Fables so it can hold off Wander Mare even if it grows two more times. No, I mean, the goose is kind of doing it here. Let's make sure to make food. At some point I want to sack these food tokens, especially in case they, like, have a fairy guide mother to jump one of their creatures. I think we still wait on the trail. And then say go. And then the paladin can maybe start attacking and drawing cards with the keeper. Alright, Griffin's scary, but we have another out muscle. Alright, so the Griffin probably has to go. And then probably one out muscle with the paladin so it can keep attacking even if they put up another decent blocker. And then we'll keep the mana to gain life if necessary, I think, instead of playing the trail. But we're out of out muscles now, so... And our opponent scoops it up. Alright, well... Despite my best efforts to mess this one up... We got there at long last. It's a Christmas miracle. All right, I guess this draft isn't over yet, so I guess we'll play it out. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it. All right, tracker, do we want to trade for it? I kind of do. 
because that maybe opens up the Merrily Frider. green black nah, I guess now we wanna just hit for one with the brutes play goose and set up uh, maybe out muscle so they play a second creature Perfect. So now we get to... Uh, I guess never mind, they're probably gonna attack with the tracker now. We'll see. Otherwise, I'd muscle can take care of both creatures here. I'll take the two for one. Not the most high value creatures, but still a pretty good exchange. Could technically use Goose for mana sacking Brutes, but uh, we'll keep the Brutes around for now. Get our last two cards. Not the most high impact cards. I guess Sanjwalker would have been nice. And that's a pretty good one. So, am I willing to sack Brutes to get a Paladin in play? Eh, probably not. Can just make a food. I think I would rather just play Paladin and pass. We do have two Trail of Crumbs, so food can be quite valuable, and it could be good with the Merrily Frider too. Alright. We'll send in Brute and Paladin. Could see Appetite maybe to kill my Paladin. But we'll find out. I guess I could use a rider to prevent that from happening. It's just a bake. Fair enough. Could start keeping lands in hand so the Reaper can't fly over. But if we find a trail, I need a lot of mana in play. Yep, that's an issue. Can maybe set up the Mare Leaf to get in for lethal, but they still have two food tokens, so it's unlikely. Take five. So they can play Reaper this turn. Sir Farron. Sir 
So what would be some good draws here? Keeper of Fables with the Ginger Brood in play would be quite strong. Our two Trail of Crumbs are another out muscle. Our own Rose Thorn Acolyte would be quite good with the Merrily Rider. We'll take six. Make a food. Pretty close to killing them since they don't have mana to sack the food. They're at 11. Can sack three foods for the Merrily Rider. Get in for. Six, seven, eight, nine. Some two points short, so don't think we go for it yet. Just play this, hit with the brutes, keep up two mana. So they will force some action. I don't have to trade. I could still just sack food to gain life. Of course it risks losing to a pump spell. Points at a virtual 13 if they don't do anything else. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Some one short, one point short. So I think I'm kind of incentivized to trade for this Garenbrig. I hope they don't have any tricks. And their own brutes, three more life potentially. Carver could be huge. Let's say they sack both foods up to 16. I Carver Sir Farron. Pump whatever. Sack three foods to make them block the rider. That's another plus four here. So four plus five is nine plus three is 12. So it's not quite lethal. So maybe I just send everyone without using the Merrileaf for tricks, and then Sir Farron can pump, uh, let's say, Henchwalker. How do they block? If they trade Brutes, that's maybe okay, and then if they block Sir Farron, I can Carver. I think I just send everyone... and see what happens. If I activate the Ginger Brute, I'm not going to have enough mana to do this and potentially gain 6, which might be important. But if I just pump here, they would just block with the Curious Pair. But I guess it's okay, because then their other blocks are bad. So I think I just do this and see what happens. And then I'm just going to keep up for mana for food sacking instead of playing the Carver. Seems safer. Because Albert is plus two, six. Yeah, let's do that. I think the attack with everyone worked out there. Pretty happy with the trades that happened.
So if I want to play around like a foreboding fruit killing me, I guess I can just take it and see what they do. The problem is if they have plus three, that's nine. I guess I still survive. So I can just wait an end of turn, decide whether to make food or sack a token. Don't have to chump with the goose, I don't think. Swordmaster, all right. So they're not dead on the way back. So if I attack with everyone that can, pumping brutes, they would trade for Sir Ferran, take six, gain two. I guess that's acceptable. And then I guess I'll need to chump with the goose, but then if they draw removal, I'm dead. So I might have to just keep up food again. Either way, this is a fine attack, I think. I think we just play Ranger and then keep up two mana and then hope the Goose can chump. Because the Brute's only going to be hitting for one next turn. We're dead to removal on the Goose. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Alright, we got our close game. Could have definitely gone either way. Ah yes, the meaning of life. Well, we've got a turn one goose. I'll try it. Bit heavy on the five drops here. Spider's a pretty decent blocker though. No attacks, love to see it. So now I could go trail, use goose for mana, and spend that on the trail, and if I find a land I can still play a broom. And we've got the Broom plus Goose plus Trail Engine here, so this late game is pretty strong if we can just make a million uh, two ones. Alright, Sir Alan. That is a scary card. So I've got a couple options. Garenbrick Paladin is the most straightforward one. Not gonna have the mana to Carver as well, but no way to do that here. So yeah, it's Paladin and hope. Uh, they can't remove it. In their own carriage. I guess we'll do the same. And then I still have Carver up if necessary. But we'll play defense here with the Paladin. Got the late game engine going, so just gotta make sure we don't die here. Mm, 
That's a big ol' attack. Paladin probably goes on Sir Allen. Carriage can go on Squire. This can block a random 2 2. And I can put a 1 1 in front as well to take it out. Or I guess maybe better block like this. And then I could chump the 5 5. Or I could take 9 damage. I guess jumping to 5-5 five, five might be best. So, yeah, I guess this looks good. Probably see a trick. Shining armor to toughness. That's fine. So hopefully that's the only trick they have. Second Shining Armor, all right. Well, my Paladin doesn't die, I guess. And most of our blocks were reasonable, so yeah, I guess that worked out. But they do have an eight toughness Sir Allen now, which is gonna be difficult to kill. But now I think Keeper and then hit them with the broom. Seems fine. And our opponent explodes. Sweet. So at long last, we got to seven wins and up to number 28. All right, that's respectable. Let's claim our prize. And crack some packs. There's our art muscle, a nice souvenir of uh, today. And a sorcerer's broom. Never got to make an extra token, but we had the the option to at some point. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.